Hello everybody. Gonna go through the um, FAC changes for Warhammer 40k. Uh, gonna look at Admech, Fells and Sons and Chaos Space Marines. I've already done these videos once but I failed to read the top of the uh, GW point change document which says the points listed in this book replace any published previously and should be used for match play. Oops. <laughs> anyway, I'm doing them all again. I did actually do four videos but I'm going to combine them in one because with the changes there's a lot less to say because it didn't make any sense before. Yeah, we all make mistakes. <laughs> right, anyhow, back up to the top. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go through the points and then I'll talk about um, what I think. Uh, but from what I can gather, all they've done is they've changed the way the points are added up for each unit in order to adopt a new system for 9th edition. So, as close as possible, they seem to be aiming to keep the points the same. Therefore, nothing's really changing. But at the same time, making certain weapons default. Kind of reminds me of what I seem to recall them trying to do in 2nd edition, which is one reason why I stopped playing. Basically, if you take you know the basic stuff, it's usually all free. It's the upgrades that cost the money. At least that's what it appears to be anyway. So anyhow, let's look at Admec first. Right, Valaris Claw, 200 points. That's exactly the same as your old points. Um, source of Tech Priests, Dominuses, uh, Engine Seers, Cataract Breaches are the same, Cataract Destroyers, or Cataphrons Destroyers are the same, uh, the Castellan Robots are the same, Data Smiths, um, Infiltrators, Rangers, everything basically all the same down here. Um, um, Omega Doom Crawlers, the same. Uh, yep, it says Dragoons, Iron Striders. Actually, Iron Striders, uh, I got that. Why have I got that down there? One second, we've got Iron Strider problem here. One of them's ran off on its own and decided it's good to you know, mess me about, so I'm going to just. Track it down and exterminate it briefly. Right, iron striders. I was trying to find these little things because they're fast. <laughs> iron striders. You always find the dragoons first. Dragoons. There is iron striders, yeah. yeah. That's right, that's what am, I, what am I thinking then? Yeah, iron striders have gone up. 10 points basically but I think that's fair because that unit is quite deadly um, I did notice that uh, laser cannon across the board are all over the place either 10 points other places to 20 other places to 15 sometimes you get a twin laser cannon for 10 points sometimes you pay 20 for a single so it's a bit all over the place it doesn't make a lot of sense to be honest um, war glaives they're still quite good. In fact, they've gone down in price from what I could tell. They're now 140 points. Um, if we just go and find them. Um, they'd be under Knights, won't they? So, let's not go for K, let's go for Imperial. 22. Right, 22. Where are your war glaives? Here we go. Yeah, it's 135 actually, so it's even cheaper than that. You pay nothing for the stubber. So this is actually wrong list. It's actually nothing for the stubber. So that's 135. So they're, they're all cheap. They used to be 155. Um, you get the melter for five pound for five points now, so that's pretty good going. They're, they're quite good, the war glaives. They're worth the they're worth the money. Disintegrators, or Scorpius Disintegrators are the same price as before. Um, Scorpius Dune Rider, same price as before. So overall, um, for Admec, not a lot changed, not a lot to say about it. So let's uh, just go up. Now we're going to look at um, Thousand Suns next, since that's a quite a short one. 
Now, it's the same, the same story here, really. I remember Wing Demon Princes, you know, Exalted Sorcerers, Normal Sorcerers. Uh, you know, they're all exactly the same. They haven't really changed. Again, the difference is a lot of the equipment they get is now free to the model. It's, it's some certain upgrades cost money. Zangors, exactly the same price. If you don't take uh, Brayhorns and Icon of Flames, it's whatever it costs for per unit or per model is what you pay. You don't pay for the equipment. So yeah, Zangors are exactly the same. All the way down the Cultists. Uh, Rubik Marines are the same. Yeah, all the way down there. No difference whatsoever. You get to Hell Brutes, the same. Although the Hell Brute, you're paying 20 points for a twin laser cannon. In other places, it's 10. I'm not sure what GW were doing there. Um, Spawn, they're the same. Um, Enlightened, they're the same. Vindicators are the same. Uh, Defilers are cheaper. Once you once you take away well, on the thousand suns it's cheaper because uh, if I just find thousand suns, because basically if it isn't listed, it's free. That's the thing. So if we go to twenty seven, so if the weapon isn't listed, you don't pay for it. Uh, Defiler, here we go. Defiler, twin laser cannon is ten points. There it is, ten points. So yeah. So that's correct, I've got that right. 135, Compi Melter, 10 points. So yeah, 135, that's correct. So that's gone down by 20 points for the Defiler. My, my Defiler has a laser cannon, by the way, in the Thousand Suns. So I have a laser cannon and um, a Havoc Launcher. And the Havoc Launcher isn't listed. Uh, it's not listed, so it's free. So I get a free Havoc Launcher with my... Um, Defiler, which is a worth in noting because if you're going to get it for free, you might as well take it, right? Anyhow, Mutilist Beast, that's the same price. Rhino's the same price. So again, basically, nothing's changed. It's just generally just changing the point system. Now, if we go to uh, Mount Dragon Claws, which is Case Space Marines, um, Lord Discordant, exactly the same price. Um, he gets his auto cannon for free. And now you've got um, Terminators. They're actually five points cheaper. Well, the Terminator Lord for me is five points cheaper. Typhus model, which is what I use for another Chaos Lord. Now it's the old one. He's five points cheaper. Let's face it, Typhus model, the old one's too cool to just throw away. You know, um, Chaos Lord in Power Armor, that's 80 points. That's the same. Um, the Chaos Lord with Jump Pack, with Power Armor and Jump Pack, that's a bit different. His Jump Pack used to, not Jump Pack, his Thunder Hammer used to be astronomically expensive. But due to a drop in price, he's now, he's, the whole model now only costs 105 points to field. It used to be 150. So you get your Chaos Lord, like the one from uh, Blackstone Fortress, they now sell it separately. You get a spare Jump Pack, glue it to the back and you've got yourself a chaos smash captain but yeah anyhow that's uh 105 now um uh, fabulous fabulous bar fabius bar is same price more demon princes are the same price master possession the same um 10 minute sauce was a bit cheaper there's uh, sauce was cheaper warp smith's same no, Sorcerer's the same, sorry. Watsmith's the same. Dark Apostle's a bit more expensive. No change in Disciples. Um, Chaos Terminator has taken a massive reduction in price. They've gone down from 188 to 160 now. So that's 28 points cheaper for them. So they're a bit more worthwhile taking, finally. Uh, Greater Possessed is the same. Spawn's the same. Care Space Marines pretty much the same. You might see a point difference here and there depending on the weapon configuration, but generally it's the same. Um, let's get past all that lot then. Cultists, the same, no change. Uh, nah, 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 nah. 
you've got um, Havoc's pretty much the same. Laser cannons here, by the way, are 15 points. <laughs> not 10, not 20, they're 15 points now. Right, um, heavy bolts are 10 points each. So, I mean, basically, it all works out to the same points after they've done it. But here's, here's an interesting bit I'm coming to now, right? Raptors, they're 15 points cheaper for five. That's an assault unit. It's the equivalent of um, Chaos Assault Troops. Now, if they're 15 points cheaper, that tells me GW wants to be fielding more of them if we're Chaos. Get down to where uh, Warp Talons, they're 20 points cheaper. They're only 115 now. Again, this is a message. Chaos, I mean, GW want us to be more, doing more, more charges if we're Chaos because they're encouraging us to take these assault type units. Chosen are about the same, obliterators are the same, Forge Fiends, that's gone down by 25 points. So a Forge Fiend is another model GW seem to want us to take more of. So yeah, Forge Fiends. Um, Marla Fiends, they're the same, Venom Crows are the same, Land Raiders, about 5 points cheaper. Um, Rhinos are more expensive. Now, Depending on the configuration, Hell Brutes tend to be cheaper. Like for instance, my Heavy Flame Auto Cannon configuration, that's 120. Both the Auto Cannon, well, the Auto Cannon is uh, the Reaper Auto Cannon, is free on a Hell Brute because it's not listed in the points. So you could have a Hell Brute Fist and a Hell Brute Auto Cannon, and it, it would basically be whatever the basic cost of the Hellbrew is, which is 110, it'd be 110, because the Auto Cannon and the Hellbrew Fist are both free. It's worth remembering that. Also, the Power Scourge is free as well. So I've got another one here I call El Brutus. The first one is Brutum at Brute Face. <laughs> and this one is El Brutus. He's got Power Scourge, Twin Heavy Bolters. Now, um, the Twin Heavy Bolter for it is only 10 points. So that takes the 110 up to 120, so that's 120. That is five points cheaper than it used to be. The other one is 30 points cheaper than it used to be. And this next one is a Hellbrew Hammer and Twin Laser Cannon. What's Twin Laser Cannon? Yeah, 20 points. So basically that's 110 plus 20 points is 130. That's 10 points cheaper. Um, the Hellbrew with uh, the Melter and uh, the Hellbrook Fist, that's 115. It used to be 110. So the one you used to get in the Dark Vengeance set is the most, is gone up. The rest of it have dropped down. Now, Composerkers are the same. Uh, Defilers are the same. Uh, da, 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 da. It's worth saying that they get their Reaper thing free as well. Um, Predators, about 10 points more. Bikers, same. Knights. Now, if you take a knight spoiler with a Reaper Chainsword and a Thunderstrike Gauntlet, it's gone up by 70 points. But I noticed in the old book, right, that if you were to um, take a despoiler and then add them, it used to be cheaper than it was if you took a despoiler with them in a pre configured way. So sometimes it's worth, you know, just looking at the list a bit more closely if we actually uh, just find it now you know, we've got um chaos knights 29 29 right chaos knights do we actually have a cost for the uh for, yeah we do so thunder strike gone is 35 and the reaper chase is first that's 75 on top of the baseline model, which is uh, which for the spoiler is three ten, so we're taking like uh, three eighty five. If we take a normal spoiler and just add them two to it on its own, it's three eighty five. But if we took the pre configured version, it's four hundred. <laughs> so simply don't take the spoiler. I mean the. Uh, don't take the despoiler with those pre-configured. Configure it yourself out of a normal night like, despoiler. This would be exactly the same thing, but 15 points cheaper. I never did understand why they did it that way. 
Anyway, this is uh, the standard despoiler, which is um, the Gatling gun, rapid fire, uh, battle cannon, uh, storm spear, rocket pod, and stub, uh, rocket pod, and um, heavy stubber. That's actually cheaper. That is uh, five, five, five. Now it used to be six, ten. And uh, the despoiler with the Gatling cannon, rapid fire, rocket cannon, missile pod on its own, with nothing else, is five, two, five. Well, I'm not too sure what the difference is there. That's heavy stubber. Oh, oh. oh the Iron Storm missile possible is cheaper, that's it. So there you go. The uh, There's a few winners in there. Not many, there's a few. But I think with, um, with the Chaos side, GW definitely want us to be taking more assault. You know, maybe a few more nights and uh, things like that. So, yeah, but the points generally haven't changed that much. They're exactly the same as they used to be. Um, I think, I just think they're trying to go for a system where you pay for the model and then most of the stuff that comes on it's free because it's easier to play that way. People understand it more. Although, to be honest, I found this sheet confusing as hell when I first read it because I missed out a bit of text at the top that told me the difference. So, yeah. But, um Looking at it all, when I first read it, I thought the Thousand Sons haven't got anything. But um, once I realised the mistake, it wasn't too bad. But anyway, um, yeah, if you're playing Thousand Sons, it's exactly the same as it was. If you're playing Admech, there are a few differences. You know, there are, there are one or two areas in a way it's worth paying attention to. And if you're playing Chaos, it's assault and forty things, I'd say, you know. And in all cases, war glaives are worth taking. They're definitely worth taking. Take them for um, Imperials or um, Chaos. I, I, I love them, to be honest. I usually charge them ahead with Admech with um, a couple of Dragoons. The Dragoons charge you first, absorb all the damage, and then the uh, war glaive walks in and just finishes them off because those uh, dragoons you know i can't remember what they're like in nan but in eight they used to be manageable to hit so you walk it in and, you know see the people trying to shoot at them as they're approaching and then they get to charge in while the person's trying to overwatch them as well they usually get in and even if they hit they usually survive the hit and once they're in person can't shoot you can do anything you can walk in your most feeble unit and you'll be all right so yeah Anyway, it says, um, I don't think this fact thing was a particularly big update. I think it was just a change, a way of updating all the other codexes to use the same point system as everything else that's coming out. A bit like the old indexes they used to do. I think that's why they did it. And um, I do think that NAV edition is about troops. Because the troops tend to be uh, the key thing, you know, in a lot of games. And I think GW wants to encourage us to use troops. And I think the way it's done the points in each army indicates what type of troops it wants us to see, or they want us to see most of. Like with Chaos, it's more assault. Um, I'm not too sure what it'd be for Marines, but um, it's a standard affair for um, Admech. You know, they will still be using Vanguard and Rangers, no points there, they're still quite cheap. Um, on the Thousand Suns front, I don't think there's been any changes whatsoever to uh, the troops. So again, it's a standard affair, so it's the same thing you used to use. If I can find it, there we go. I mean, it's just a shame when your Demon Princes are so expensive, because they're usually quite good. You know, they can do quite a bit of work and they change the nature of the game if you give them wins. But yeah, yeah, exactly the same points. Anyway, as you can see, there isn't much to say because at the end of the day, right, it's just business as usual. It was a kind of a, a non-release, you might say, just a, like a bit of admin. A few admin changes, change to how they do things, and that's about it. Anyhow, if 
Do you want to see what I Yeah, let's talk about things other than the fact, right? What I would do if, uh... <laughs> no, no, I'll leave that for another video, right? But, um, if you're going to do the points changes, remember to read the bit at the top. Don't do what I did and just skip past it. Because it's very confusing if you do it. It's a bit, it says, uh, you can use this book to determine the points value of each unit in your army. Each entry has a unit size, e how many models the unit can contain, how many how many points the uh, how many points the unit costs, the entry of X points per model, then the unit costs X points for every model. You must um, add, then add units for each weapon or item or war gear that is included in the unit. If it is listed in the unit's entry, weapons, war gear not listed in the unit's entry costs no additional points to, to include in that unit. And there's a few interesting things there, like I said. It says, um, <clears throat> Hell Brutes, they get their Reaper Auto Cannons for free. So if you put a Reaper Auto Cannon on a Hell Brute, you just pay the basic land model cost. And some of these things are worth paying attention to. Right. See you in the next one.